Okay, welcome to today's show. Today we're going to build a duffel bag. It's got this pattern. Vintage duffel bag. It's a cloth pattern, but we made it into patterns of pattern. Is that you need? And the end piece came in the, on that paper I showed you. And I transferred it to this construction paper. So here's the end pieces. And it's 17 by 21 main panel, we need two of it. And there's some other pieces we bought. We'll cut later. Lining straps, we'll cut all later. Let's get started. I have this elk. It's a beautiful piece of elk from the Miami Hutterite colony. Oh, I can smell it's great. So this is what I'm gonna use. Got a about 20 square feet here. Hoping that's enough. Then I bought this liner fabric store. We're gonna trace it out and I'm gonna get you guys to follow my journey in making a duffel bag that I've never made before. Trace out these pieces, come back. Even the long side, cut the handles, the strap, and the strap so I can use one piece. Put the other pieces in here. Here's the liner piece, heavy duty material. From the fabric store that said it was really strong, lasts for a long time. I marked out all the pieces. I made the lining pieces about an inch wider all the way around each piece so that when you glue them on it's easier just to trim it up later and trying to put it exactly together. I'll cut these out and I'll cut out the leather. Let's see how it goes. Here we go with the pieces. You can see the side has a bit of a pattern on it. It's like just shiny. Leave the inside of the bag. Let's cut out these pieces. Okay, I've cut them all off the pieces. Here's the, here's the end. Right here. Here's my two sides. There, and I left the long side of this leather. Left the long side to make the straps. I took some nine ounce leather. Here, this Roma Italian leather from the Tandy store to make the bases of the straps. Cut the long strap now three inches wide. So when I fold it, it'll be inch and a half wide. And that'll be the main strap. The side straps, I'll cut just a little bit longer than this so they can go up and then fold over and down. These are the pieces for the end rings to attach the shoulder strap to the ends. So they'll go like this on this piece here, like this. But I think this is too, there's too much movement in here. So I'm going to glue this pigskin on here. And you know, pigskin doesn't stretch, so it'll just make that that much firmer. I'll go ahead and trace these out and glue them on there. And then we'll see how it is when we're done. We'll make these pieces a little bit bigger so we can just trim them off easier. That's that's okay. I've glued the pig skin on the back and through. We'll glue these together or sew them, but you can see how much more solid that is with the pig skin on the back. I'll dye the edges once I get it all fastened together. That'll be a much more much stronger for the shoulder strap. Okay, that part done. 